there once again YouTube now just a quick update about Steamboat Geyser real quick I said it was gonna erupt today at about 6 a.m. to noon time for September 9th right now is 707 p.m. Pacific time September 9th 2019 and I said that because of the precursors that were showing on the temperature plots but it seems like I was wrong no Steamboat eruption has happened yet today it might happen by the time I get this video up but I'm probably suspecting it's gonna be tonight I think I was a little I anticipated a little too quickly for the uh, precursors on the temperature plots because it hasn't been a full seven days and it usually erupts around seven days or so every seven days so it has not erupted yet i was wrong 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 yes i was wrong and i'm willing to admit it now going to my website you'll notice if you're on here some of your links may be broken if you bookmark a few things because i have moved some stuff around so just come to my website and everything's still on there. I haven't deleted any pages that you guys are used to, but I put them in different sections. I have a Yellowstone section now with my Yellowstone blog and the other pages about Yellowstone, including Steamboat Geyser eruptions for 2019 and 2018. Then I have the Hawaii section with my Hawaii blog and a page dedicated to spasmodic tremor in Hawaii and what it is and how you can monitor for it yourself. Again, I redid the retrieve seismic data portion uh, including 13 steps, 13 simple steps to download seismic data. I try to make it as simple as possible. And right now, after I get this video uploaded to YouTube, I am going to update my use swarm page. So that'll be updated in just a little bit as well. And so, yeah, some things have been moved around. So go check out what I've moved around. And pretty much everything that should be there is there. I don't know why this is there. I think that's a glitch. I don't know. That's very weird. Um, but so yeah, so just letting you know about those updates that are occurring on my website. I'm still going to keep updating stuff as time goes on, trying to make it streamline it and make it as quick and easy to understand as possible because on prior pages that I made a while ago, I talked way too much guys, way, way, way too much. So yeah, and as for earthquake activity, there really hasn't been as much today. There hasn't been too much. However, in Alaska, we did see a few magnitude fives actually right down here along the Lucian Trench, the subduction zone, right here in Lucian Islands. We did see a magnitude 5.3, and then later on a magnitude 5.4 down to the southeast, actually along the subduction zone itself. Uh, 35 kilometers in depth for this one out here. It's actually near a volcano. Let's see, I forget which volcano is in this location. Let's see. Is it the Tanaga Volcano? I think it's the Tanaga Volcano. I think that is because this Tanaga Pass and one of these earthquakes right here was near the Tanaga Volcano. Let's see, this one says, okay, yeah, some hard in Alaska to pronounce. So I think this is Tanaga right here. I believe it is, uh, nope, excuse me, Mount Garanloy, Garanloy, Mount Garanloy in the Aleutian Islands saw magnitude 5.5 down to the south, southeast, or excuse me, 5.3. And we saw 5.4 actually along the subduction zone itself. So that's pretty much it for seismicity as of today. If anything else is going, let's go to Hawaii. Seismicity has been somewhat low for Hawaii with some small quakes popping off, likely in the Mantopun conduit down here under Pahala, Hawaii, and just off the coast. Let's see, that one was at about 30 kilometers in depth. And we had a few at Kilauea as well, but not too much in terms of seismicity as of today. Let's go to California. Ridgecrest Coastal Volcanic Field area is still seeing increased seismicity, which will go on for quite a long time. We're probably going to see earthquakes occurring there constantly for a long time. We also had an earthquake in Arizona, which isn't too strange, but it was at 19.2 kilometers in depth, so I'm unsure exactly what caused that right now, but I just wanted to update you guys that I was wrong about Steamboat Geyser. It has not erupted yet, but it likely will by the time I upload this video or tonight. I am expecting it to erupt tonight. I really am. I would be surprised if it didn't because it has been almost a full seven days since the last eruption. Again, I'm updating my website. I hope you guys have a great day. God bless, and I will see you very soon.